yeah okay the last software that we're going to see is rhinoceros for working with nerves unfortunately that's the only one that's not for free but for mac you can download a better version that's very stable and still for free at the moment um, that's unfortunate because there are basically no open source software for working with normal dark uh, the same level of Rhino or a usable level. They are very old software but they are not at the same level. NURBS work with a different geometry. That's the main idea. The idea is that we work with curves and surfaces. So even if they're straight line, they're basically curved. Uh, they were developed uh, as a mathematical model for designing boats, uh, ships, uh, cars, airplanes, because the idea with NURBS that you have a mathematical formula that uh, specifically explain how the curve and the surface works on a continuous level, so it's very precise. And that's important because if you want to create something that's uh, hydrodynamic, you need to have a complete control of the surface. So that will be for the curve, and that's for the surface. The important thing that each element has basically a control point and an edit point. The edit point are on the surface, the control point are outside, so you can edit both and change the appearance. So we will launch Rhinoceros for this. Rhinoceros is very nice because you can also do everything that you will do with a CAD, like AutoCAD or Draft Sign Rhinoceros, so you can also skip those and just buy a rhinoceros. So here you have on the left the commands. I will validate later. The command. Here you have the snap. Okay, like you would in any cat. You have the grid snap, the ortho planner if you want to work on one plane in history. Here you have the layers, it's duplicate, but you can add more stuff here. And here you have the different views. Okay. Of course, they have this different way of zooming and panning than Blender and FreeCAD and so on, so you might get used to this or get a bit of confusion about that. So first thing, you draw lines, so see, line, polyline, and segment, so that's why you, I told you that there are much even, much even more options than the CAD, but that will be a, a normal line, and when enter, you finish, or you draw a curve through point, point, control point, so you click here, you click here, you click here, and that's the control point. So you have the curve, but if you want to see the control point, you need to click here, and then you will see the control point, and then you can edit the control point. Okay. Or you select the curve, and then you click on node point. And here you see the points on the curves or on the surface. So it's a different way for editing the, the geometry. Okay, but the idea is you basically edit both when you have a different control on the curve. So you can do many, many different things with this. Uh, you have different things that you can do also with meshes here, but we focus on NORPS here. Uh, we will try to do something very easy at the moment. So, for example, if I create another curve that starts from the end, and another one that starts from, from the end, here. Okay. So this is a closed, uh, almost surface. They just curves, but now I can click on this and create surface from planar curves. So it's like this, this, this. Okay, I need to check the settings for this. So now the problem with this is that it's editing only the, the point, so we need to go back to this, so I need to check points off. Okay, so I can select it now. Okay. So uh, let's do the surface on primary curves, select 
this, this, and this, enter, and I get a surface. So if I click on perspective, right click, and I put render it, I see that it's really a surface. So that's for planner surfaces. So then you can also delete the surface. Um, now, for example, one thing that I can do, uh, I can try to build something here and extrude along these and these as two rays. So one thing that I will do, for example, is start here and create the, the z-axis. Now, of course, if I create something here, 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 and then in the end, here, it's on this plane, okay? So I need to change what is called the construction plane, or C plane, and here are all the options. So in this case, first, I set up the origin, and I set up it here, so you see, now it's here, and I want the, the surface delete this from here to here and here as a the plane so I do plane by three points I do here here and here okay now if I build the curves and here you see that now it's exactly on this plane uh, if I click on this, I put to previous C plane, we go back to where we were, and that's how you will do something like this. Now, in this case, I can do sweep one, two, one rail or two rails. So, one rail would be, for example, select the rail, this, and select the curve, and that's what I will get. I didn't choose the option, but of course, you can select it. So I will do now with two rails, for example, let's see the difference. Two rails, so one, two, and first. And now you see it's much more nice. Now if I select the surface and I put this, the front the point, I can do something like this. And uh, also move is this one, so I can, for example, if I want to be really precise, I select this, and I do this, this. I want to move it this and like orthographic by 10, I put 10, and it's there. Okay. So now this is like 10 millimeters up. So that's one possible way of dealing um, with this geometry. And see, everything is completely continuous. So that's the difference with the mesh or with the solid. But the difference with the solid that here is not solid, it's just one surface. Okay, so uh, you can do boolean here, but it's a bit more complicated. Now, for example, what you will do <coughs> here is it points off. Uh, for example, I will do a cylinder here. Okay, now I have this. One thing I could do is the Boolean difference. So from this to this. And now they were cut in this way. Okay. The other way I can do is by trim. So I can check, uh, for example, I will go back. Okay. I can do trim uh, this. Let's look at the object. Right click to choose object to trim this one. And then this is cut in this way. The other thing that I can do, for example, is quite interesting, is I can project curves. So I can project, for example, one line here. Let's take a little more 
okay, but the line doesn't intersect the surface. So one thing that I can do is this. I project the curve onto the surface. So I select the curves, enter, I select the surface. Okay, and now if I go here, you see this is the curve on the surface. And if I use this and I trim this, then that's how I trim it. So that's a good way for really dealing as it was with a piece of paper folded and you just cut it. And here again you can rotate, you can have array, um, you can do even fillets here. So if I do box. Okay. So here you need to select the surfaces. So that's the fillet just here so you see that on the side it is not cut. So or you do another fillet or for example you use the, the trim. So you select this and then right click, you cut here and here. So here is not like a complete entity that you just change the parameters but it's just a piece of sheet that you just cut in any way you like. So otherwise, maybe, maybe oops. You have much more option, the things that you can do. So it's really, really well developed for working with surfaces. Uh, you can change the color and so on, and the layer. Uh, what else I can show you? You can revolve. We haven't seen it in the other way. So, for example, let's go back on top. I will just do one curve. Okay. Now, for example, in this case, I will do a revolve. You can do revolve or rail revolve for more complicated stuff. So, revolve, I want to revolve this. The axis where I want it to revolve, so for example, orthogonal, this way. Start angle 0, okay, start angle 360. And that's the object. Of course, it's not like in the solid that they can change the angle again. I need to delay the surface and do it again if I want to have only 180. Now, for example, here I have this. What I can do, for example, I can create a surface from planar curves. I just check this and then I get the surface. Do the same like this. So this is not intended as a solid. So they are just surfaces. But now, if I want to select these, these, and these, I do file, export, selected, and export as uh, STL. STL. Now I see that the tolerance of the construction, so if I put, for example, a different, you see it's much denser the mesh, because this is like having an approximation with the mesh of a continuous surface. So in this case, I don't need something very big, so I will just do this, okay? If you save in NASI, it will be text, but it's much bigger the size, so always use the binary, especially for the web documentation. So export. Now I open Blender. File, import, STL. I know that STL. Here it is. So again, if I don't smooth. Okay. And now you can edit the different elements. I we will do in a mesh. So there's something that maybe is a bit more difficult to do with with NURBS. So you can start with NURBS and then move to some somewhere else here. You can do rendering in Rhino, but last time checked years ago it was very slow. So maybe you then export to Blender. Uh, 